Today we're going to take a look at the best wiring options for your 2017 Ford Edge, SE, and SEL model. Now these are going to be your best wiring options. Here we have the Tecantra, part number 118669. And then over here we have our Kurt, part number C56272. Now the end result is going to give you a four pole flat to connect to your trailer, but the way we get it is gonna be a little bit different. With the Tecantra, the wiring is gonna stay on the outside of the vehicle at all times. Now, the Kurt, on the other hand, our wiring's gonna be tucked away underneath by our spare tire. We simply pull out the wire we need and hook our trailer up like this. Now, the main benefit of having our wiring on the outside with the Tecantra is that it is going to be here all the time. It's going to be easily accessible and we won't have to get inside. But it is also going to be on the outside exposed to the elements. With that being said, that's where our wiring on the inside is beneficial. It's going to stay inside so we don't have to worry about the elements, dirt, or weather getting to it. But we do need to get inside our hatch to access our wires. Now, both of our wiring kits do use a module box. Now, mainly the main purpose of what this is for is so that if you have any issues on the trailer end, it's gonna protect your vehicle from any back feeding and going back to your vehicle. Now, since our boxes function the same, the main difference gonna be here is the shape. The Tecantra is a little bit thicker, but it is shorter, and it also has an eyelet, so if you wanted to zip tie or put a self-tapping screw in to mount your box. Now the way we're gonna mount our Kurt module box is with some double-sided tape that is provided, and it is provided with the Tecantra as well, but this is gonna be the main source of how we mount our Kurt module box. Now these module boxes are powered boxes, so we're gonna to need to take the supplied wire in both kits to run a wire from our module box, this black wire, as well as on the Kurt, up to the battery of the vehicle, and that's gonna help not keep strain off of our vehicle's taillight circuits so that we don't overload them, so they're individually powered. The main difference besides the shape and the look of our module boxes is the way that they're constructed. Now, they both use service mount technology, which is the way they mount the circuit boards in there, but the main benefit on the Tecantra is you can see there's this epoxy shiny material right here, and on the Kurt, it's just a plastic box. Now, where we're gonna benefit from this is, is this is a potting material, and it's gonna help keep out moisture and debris from getting inside our circuits, as well as when it is mounted, if we go over rough terrain and it's getting vibrations, the epoxy is actually gonna take all the stress and vibrations and keep them away from our circuits inside of our module. Now, each kit does come with its own fuse holder, that we're gonna put in line between the wire running up to our battery. Now, the Kurt is gonna use a 10 amp fuse, whereas the Tecantra is gonna be a little bit higher rated and it's gonna use a 15 amp fuse. Now, as you can see, both of our kits are gonna give us a four pole flat to connect to our trailer. But here in the Tecantra, the dust cap is connected and permanently attached to our four pole. Whereas the Kurt, it does have a removable and replaceable dust cap. So if it ever gets lost, damaged, or anything, we can replace it. Now both these kits are gonna come with all the necessary hardware to complete the installation, as well as all your wires, fuse holders, and anything else you may need to get it fully installed on your vehicle. Now both of our kits are gonna be using a T connector, and that's gonna connect in between our tail light from, from the vehicle and then connect to our tail light going out. Now, the main difference of how these install, since the Tecantra is gonna be on the outside of the vehicle all the time, we simply just need to fish up the wires from underneath our bumper up to the inside of our tail light, which we do with the Kurt as well, but there's additional panels that will need to be removed inside the vehicle with the Kurt. So in summary, as far as installation goes, I think the Tecantra is gonna take it here purely because you don't have to remove any interior panels. As far as the power rating goes, again, I think the Tecantra is gonna take it just because it is rated for a higher power rating. So if you have a trailer with a lot of lights, you're not gonna have to worry about blowing any fuses. 
As far as vehicle protection goes, both of our kits, the Takancha and the Kurt, are going to keep any problems we may have on our trailer end from backfeeding into our vehicle. Now as far as durability goes, again I think the Takancha is going to take it just because of the module having the potting material. And that'll finish up the look at the best wiring options for your Ford Edge SE and SEL model. Click the link below to shop, learn more, or visit us at eTrailer.com.